Hi, my name is Paul, and I'm excited to share Creative Cloud with you. The project I'm going to work on is basically we have an airline that's now traveling to South America, and uh, we need to build promotional assets around that. And I had some ideas that I kind of sketched down here in my little notebook. Uh, but really what I want to do is I want to use Adobe Capture. It allows me to capture content really from anywhere, whether it's in my notebook or really anywhere in my environment. And I really like Viva South America. And Adobe Capture will allow you to capture this content. Notice how I can scroll, increase, or decrease the intensity of what's being captured. In fact, you're thinking it looks kind of crummy. I get it. Let's click Smooth, turn that on. From my really rough sketch, this looks a, a whole lot better and much more usable as a vector asset. And the great thing is I can hit save. What happens? That goes in my Creative Cloud library, which is fantastic. It's going to be available on my desktop, which is super cool. And I'm going to go beyond that because I also noticed this cool type. I want something bold and stable. I really like this type. And what I'm grabbing is not the text, but I'm grabbing the uh, the character style or the font. And where's this coming from? It's coming from Adobe Fonts. So this character style is going to be available for me. I can kind of scroll down, see which one I like. Ooh, I love this one right here, Retina Black. Really bold and strong. Selecting that, saving that to that same library that's going to be pretty much with me everywhere. And check it out right here. You could see character styles, graphics, we're ready to go. I'm going to drop in this shape. You guessed correctly, it is all a vector. And typically I jump in here, I'd use the various tools in Illustrator to clean it up. And now that we've captured everything that we need to from Adobe Capture, we can dive in and start to refine that content. Here we are with really my cleaned up logo, if you will, looking really good. And what I need to do now is add some type to it, right? So South America. I actually want to use that character style that we captured earlier in Adobe Capture. So opening up that libraries panel right over here, there it is, selecting it. Sure enough, there's that big, bold font that I have selected. So that looks pretty good, but I want to kind of see what other options are available. And I could do this all in Illustrator. In fact, go to character, and I want to sort by the sans serif. The bold fonts, right? Condensed width, potentially, right? So that looks pretty good. Maybe this doesn't suit my fancy. Any of these, check it out. We can click over to Adobe Fonts by finding more. So these are fonts that are not on my desktop. These are out uh, in Adobe Fonts that I can go ahead and sync directly to my laptop. I'm really liking this one. Yeah, I'm going to add it to my favorites, and I'm going to activate it. It syncs. We don't have to jump out of Illustrator, go to the browser, anything like that. Very seamless. And usually when I've made these decisions, I want to get these assets back into my library so they're available for me everywhere. Click, drag, done. Here is my final type lockup. Not only that, taking this text and we can add this as a character style as well. So now we have the final for both of these. I can clean this up all I want. The important thing is, is that everything in this library right here is going to be available to me everywhere. All these assets, even as I switch gears into Photoshop, I'll have access to those assets immediately. All I need to do is go to Window, down to Libraries. I'll select that same library, and there those assets are. And I can start to use them right away. I actually want to do Brazil first, all right? so. Coming in here, just like that, and notice I actually clicked on this character style, but whichever one I have selected will give me that character style. I think it would be really cool if these uh, soccer players or football players were in front of the text, right? So I'm going to take this layer, duplicate it, right? Put it at the top, and now I just want to isolate these two players. and. How you typically do that is you use the selection tools, a lasso, I don't know, magnetic wand, who knows what. It's usually very painstaking. Not anymore. Check this out. Uh, we call it Adobe Sensei. You're just going to think it's magic, but it's all this machine learning happening in the background. I just want the subject. It goes through, selects whatever the subject is, and then all I have to do is hit Create mask, done. And I'm well on my way to completing this. As I roll over these different blend modes, it'll automatically change to that blend mode. So I can easily see what's gonna work. I really like overlay, done. 
All the other promo images are gonna be made based on this image. This is the look we're going for, okay? But what I need to do now is I need to create one for all the countries in South America. We gotta do Paraguay, we gotta do Peru. So let's do that, let's find those images. In fact, right over here, Peru. What do I do? Search Adobe Stock, just like that. Searching, we get all these gorgeous images. They look pretty good. I'm gonna see the results on the web. And the, the reason I usually do this is I get all these additional filters that I can roll with. I'll do horizontal, depth of field, images with copy space. This is amazing, it's so cool. And uh, as I take a look, I can scroll down and say, hey, you know what, I really like this image. I'm not 100% sure I wanna use it. So I could just save a preview, done. Saving previews, finding one that I really like maybe, and licensing it immediately. And look what's happening. It's saving it directly to that library, just like that. Licensing this one, I'm gonna click right over to my desktop. They start getting populated and everything looks really good. Honestly, I've established the, the hero image, right? So I wanna take all of these layers, drop them in here in my library because this is the hero images for Brazil, but really for all the images that need to be made. Guess what? I don't have to do all the work. I'm working with a team here, right? I'm the lead designer. I've established the look. Now I need others to help me with this. I can do that very easily. Clicking right up here, flyout menu. Let's collaborate. In fact, all I need to do is add their email address. And in this case, I'm gonna give them the ability to edit these files, or I could just say, give them ability to view. But from there, I'll just invite them to it. They'll get a notification, they accept that, and then they have access to all of these assets, not only to use, but also add their own. And that's actually what's happening right now. We'll go beyond that because we wanna be able to share this link with others. So I could share it with people in marketing, the product manager, really anyone. Everybody's on the same page, super seamless. What I wanna do now is take those assets and build a web experience, a web prototype. The splash screen allows you to design, prototype, and share really for any screen that you want, whether it's for mobile, mobile app, a web experience for mobile, iPad, desktop. And I'm actually gonna start with this file. It's actually currently just a wireframe. But actually what I did is I used a UI kit. So I encourage you to take advantage of these UI kits because they're gonna help you get up and running quickly. This is a mobile web experience. I'm gonna just view this screen and I need to fill this out with the different destinations. So typically you'd like duplicate this, maybe drag it over, do this however many times. Well, you don't need to do that because you just select really any element Go right over here to repeat grid, and it allows you to repeat that item, as you can see, and you have full control over how it looks. So this is really good, but obviously just a bunch of gray boxes is not that exciting. I wanna fill these with images. All I need to do is select those images and drop them onto that gray box. You can see it propagates on down, looks really good, but I can also take this TXT file, has the names of all the countries, Guess what, drop that right onto that text field and it swaps that out as well. So this is the cool part. So all the uh, data, for instance, is different, but the style can be connected. So you can see as I move it around, I maybe wanna take that image and adjust the transparency so we could see that text and then we can even resize the text. Let's go to this first screen and in fact, we have our CC libraries, has all of our content. Everybody who's seen it, everybody's on board with these images. I can take whatever image I want, drop it in. And what just happened there? Check this out. That little link icon says, hey, you know what? I'm linked back to that CC library item. If it gets updated, it will update in here. Makes it super seamless for changes. I absolutely love that. And uh, what you do from there is continue to design out all of these screens for this prototype. As you can see here, these are my fully designed screens. They're looking really good, used a lot of CC library assets, but now I wanna prototype these screens. So here's one that's completely prototyped, and if I just select everything, you can see how it's all wired up, but we can also just click preview, and we can see how there's a timer that automatically advances. From one screen to the next, we can hit destinations, dive into Argentina right here, and then I can scroll down and see this content. I'm actually ready to show this to the client. 
And that's this last step sharing it. You can create a public link or a private link and invite specific people to it. So you can see the client has accepted and we can check out their comments right here in the browser. And check this out, a pinned comment right here about making this picture a landscape. I know exactly which one he's referring to. So I can go ahead and make those changes back in XD. And then we'll go ahead and use CC libraries, because sure enough, I do have a nice image, a landscape image to drop right in there. So with that done, all I need to do is go up here and publish out an update. I can just resolve this comment and even reply new image, just like that. Done and done, and let's resolve this one as well. Everything is done seamlessly, whether I'm working in a large group or a small team. You can see Creative Cloud makes the whole experience just really seamless and easy.